Ah, hey guys. Uh, yeah, this is my first attempt at a vlog, pretty much. Uh, uh, to be honest, I've done a couple of trial takes, but um, uh, what I've learned so far is uh, going for a walk it might be nice, but I don't have any protection for my microphone, so I get a lot of wind noises. Uh, and starting a vlog in like a two kilometers uphill uh, wasn't the smartest idea. Uh, but anyway, so I really want to get started using my, not vlogging camera, but video camera more. Um, this is the camera, just my Canon uh, M50. Uh, this is the one I've been using for uh, the latest music videos and uh, uh, also the latest uh, live session uh, gigs I've done. Um, so, yeah, so my plan was uh, during, uh, not this summer, but at least my plan is to bring the camera with me. Uh, to gigs and festivals, uh, travels, uh, backstage areas, uh, working with bands, uh, going to rehearsal spaces with different friends that I have in bands and um, just have it with me every time I'm working pretty much. And from time to time can I can release a vlog or some documentary uh, thing with some of the bands I'm working with or um, I'm thinking about adding things like if there is something that you would like to know about cameras or photography or especially music photography because I do have a um, passion for rock and metal music and uh, photography and I feel extremely lucky that I can combine these things together. Uh, so at the moment I'm trying out some things. I'm using a natural window light. So I got a bit lucky here because I have a kind of a big window in my office. So I'm using that at the moment as the only light source and I have a small lamp over there uh, just to just because it's cozy pretty much. Uh, what have I been up to? Um, well, to be honest, not much. Because like the rest of the world, everything is on lockdown and there's no gigs. And yeah, there's all the restrictions uh, with how many people we can be at an event or gathering of, yeah, I think it's like 50 people or something like that. But it's pretty much the same all over the world, so just have to do the best of it. Um, I have been really lucky that I've been working with a band from Borås, here in Sweden, uh, called uh, Blind Tooth. Uh, I did a live session video with them. Uh, fantastic band. I think they are calling themselves like a Texas gr grunge thing. Um, Highly recommend that you check them out. Uh, sound fantastic. Um, I recently released a live video or live session video with Hot Breath from uh, Gothenburg. Uh, fantastic, um, fantastic rock band with a lot of energy and just super nice people. I really hope that when everything, when the lockdown and everything eases up and uh, when the gig, especially when the gig starts again. I'm hoping to tag along with them uh, on a few gigs. Uh, hopefully we talked a bit about it, one of the members and me, so I'm hoping that maybe we can do something more fun together. Uh, but time will tell. My plan for this summer, I planned my vacation and everything. Uh, everything was planned around the festival season and that pretty much went to me. 
Uh, so, yeah, I was going to Jävla Metal Festival uh, this year again, well, I, or again this year, but uh, yeah, like the rest of the world, every festival and everything has been has been po postponed to next year and. So I'm really looking forward to getting back to, especially Jävla Metal Festival, because that's the, in my opinion, it's the best festival in Sweden, because it has, it's kind of a smaller festival, still has a lot of people and a lot of bands, but it's the only metal festival. Uh, Sweden Rock Festival is fantastic, but it's a gigantic festival. Uh, when I was there in 2018, um, I just remember standing in the photo pit uh, with my <laughs> with our beautiful uh, pink photo vests we had to wear. Um, but I, when I was standing there in the photo pit and I looked out over the crowd and I realized that from the photo pit to like the entrance of Sweden Rock, it was like a sea of people. You couldn't walk anywhere, and I realized how freaking big the festival was. And was a bit of stress working it, uh, rushing from stage to press tent to deliver photos to uh, try to meet up some of my friends and just juggling everything pretty much. Uh, but I'm looking forward to maybe going back. Uh, this year's lineup, it was nice, but. I do like more metal music and I want to see that band on the bill that really makes me just feel that feeling just holy crap I need to go but I didn't get that this year um, it was way easier 2018 when I was there and it was Iron Maiden and Ozzy Osbourne and Judas Priest and it was like a fantastic lineup um, among other amazing bands um, and but anyway um as i said just the festival is super nice and i know that a lot of people are struggling now when they when they can't go to the festival and i've seen a lot of uh Insta instagram activity <laughs> just regarding sweden rock and i really feel with everyone <laughs> just what they are going through and um yeah can just gather our strength and we will return stronger and more music and more gigs uh, next year and hopefully if everything calms down maybe we can get a few shows at least later this fall or uh, winter at least so fingers crossed um, yeah other than that I'm just looking around trying to figure out what I've been up to uh, drinking tons of coffee. Uh, doing beard things. Mm. Um, started working with the beard struggle. Uh, just because I need beard products and they had nice beard beard products. So win win. Um, what have I, I been up to more? Um, the biggest thing, at least last year, I uh, started working with Insta360 and started to more actively use their uh, Insta360 cameras, of course. Uh, mainly the One X. But I. Well, I can see if I can find it. But this little guy. Whoop, see, focus. Oh, there we go. See? This little guy. This one. Uh, the Insta360 Go. Uh, I had so much more fun with this than I thought I would. Uh, super easy to bring with me. Just charge case, super tiny. Just put it in your pocket and you can set it on a timer. Uh, and grab some video and just pretty much start it and forget about it and 
uh, then after either you stop it or uh, the battery runs out you can just grab this and just plug it in your phone and edit your photos instantly with like flash cut and it's ready to go for insta stories and pretty much everything so it's super handy to have for instagram and things like that so that's actually a big surprise this this was a super nice camera um, and they sent with a couple of accessories so i can clip it to caps uh, I have the ne uh, magnetic necklace thing so I can keep it on my chest, but uh, if you have a beard around this size, around at least to here, uh, you will, since it's such a wide angle, you will pretty much have a beard in your every shot. I've learned that the hard way. Um, so if you want a beard cam, that's perfect, but I would suggest you clip it to something else or on top of your camera or something just uh, get a bit it gets a bit better and not hairy all over uh, yeah it's been a lot of fun working with them and I can really recommend the, uh, the One X it's a fantastic uh, action camera and 360 camera with a st uh, flow state stabili stabilization uh, and it's yeah, mind-blowing can just run with it pretty much and if you keep your arm decently steady and just run with it and it will just glide like a gimbal or something it's insane um, I've used it with uh, bands like Bombus uh, see if I can add add a clip here somewhere uh, I put it on the drum podium and recorded uh, one of their sets in Gothenburg. Um, and uh, what more? I've worked with, used it on a video with Hot Breath, uh, another music video with Winter, a uh, Winter, uh, and another music video with Perpetual Etude, a new really nice metal band. Um, I have used it quite a lot actually, um, so as I said I can really recommend it. So I'm planning on wrapping this up, um, just making a quick introduction thing for me starting. So it would absolute, I would absolutely love if you um, s clicked on subscribe on my YouTube channel uh, or if you follow me on uh, Instagram you can find me on underscore underscore RHP and two underscores so underscore underscore RHP underscore underscore because yeah why make it easy <laughs> no, I really wanted RHP so Robert held some photography and uh, that was the only thing I could get pretty much um, Same on Facebook Robert Hellstrom photography uh, you can find my photo page there and you can find my personal page also um, What more actually started a TikTok. Uh, not sure how I feel about that, but I'm there It scares me a bit. I feel old Getting my first grey hairs, damn it. Needing glasses by the computer. Oh my god. Yeah. <clears throat> old grumpy old man. Uh, mostly active on Instagram. Uh, you can always send me uh, personal messages there. Or if you are a band or artist or anyone uh, wanting to book me for gigs or photo sessions or just have inquiries about prints or any of my work uh, feel free to email, email me at robert.hellstrom.photo 
uh, at gmail.com um, or send a, a message on social media and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, but I would love if you um, subscribed down there somewhere, should be. Uh, playing that bell thingy. Um, I will try to start being active on YouTube. I will do my best. Um, and feel free to leave comments on what you want to see and yeah and just run say hi 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 just something um yeah let's leave it at that uh i'm I'm going to edit some photos because if I can't go to gigs I need to at least go through old photos or something just and listen to some nice music um, what should I listen to? I think I will... oh no I will listen to this can highly recommend this there we go uh, Vokonis, Grasping Time, fantastic record, friends of mine, uh, amazing band, the new direction they've taken is, mm, and I've heard the new album, uh, the only word I have is goosebumps, oh my god it will be good, uh, feel a bit biased because My portrait of of them, or at least the old setup. Um, super fun! So I am going to grab this beautiful vinyl, and I'm going to listen to some music and drink more coffee and edit photos. Yeah. Take care.